When Manchester City and Arsenal collide, we know it's not only going to be about a brilliant game, but it's also likely to be pivotal in deciding where the Premier League title will end up. Hi guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan Zones, the show that brings you the latest update as it concerns Arsenal. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, please do well to hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. Alright, Manchester City welcome Arsenal to the Etihad Stadium on Sunday for one of the biggest games in the Premier League calendar. The clash has emerged as one of the most eagerly anticipated matches in the Premier League, captivating both loyal supporters and neutral fans alike fueled by the intense rivalry that has developed between the two teams in the recent seasons. The intensity of this rivalry is fueled by the contrasting styles of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City and Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. The citizens' high-pressing, possession-based approach clashes with the Gunners' quick counter-attacking, adaptable tactics, making their encounters a fascinating study in strategic football. Manchester City seek to assert its dominance and maintain its grip on the top spot while Arsenal aim to prove its title credentials and make a statement against the champions. Well, the last time Arsenal won at the Etihad Stadium came in January 2015, at a time when Ateta was still a player at the club and he will be hoping they can go one better on Sunday. The Gunners came close to breaking City's grip on the league title in each of the past two seasons. They finished two points behind City last season, with the title race going down to the final day and the season before. They led the league for a majority of the campaign, but lost team towards the end and finished five points behind City. Well, the two sides could be involved in another battle for the title this season after both have made promising starts in the league. Having won an unprecedented fourth straight Premier League title last season, Manchester City have wasted no time in their quest to add to their title cabinet as they are the only team to register a perfect start to the Premier League with four wins from four matches, also boasting a two-point lead over their closest challengers, Arsenal. For the Gunners, this will be their third consecutive away game and wrap up what's been a tough week having also travelled to Tottenham last Sunday. Arsenal dug deep to come away with a vital 1-0 win over their not London rivals thanks to Gabriel Magalhaes' thumping header midway through the second half. Last season, Arsenal took a big step forward against City, winning 1-0 at home and drawing away in their two games, earning four points in the process, but they still came up just short in the title race. So the big question is, who are the favourites for this massive early season clash between the title favourites? Please drop your views in the comment section. With that said, one player to look out for in this game is Norwegian international Erling Haaland. The striker already has 9 goals from 4 appearances, including hat-tricks against Ipswich Town and West Ham United. He will be looking to break his own record of the fewest games taken to reach double figures which currently stands at 6 and was achieved last season. A goal against Arsenal will not only break the record, but it will also be his 100th for City in just 104 games. Well, William Saliba alongside his central defence partner Gabriel Magalhaes didn't allow Haaland to take a single shot in both their meetings last season. However, repeating that fate on Sunday could prove a stern challenge for Saliba considering Haaland's superb start to the season. Well, on the team news, Arsenal will be without Martin Odegaard, with Ateta confirming on Wednesday that the midfielder will be out for a while with a significant ankle injury. Like Odegaard, Ricardo Calafiore also sat out Arsenal's win over Tottenham with injury, but the Italy international was fit to come off the bench in the team's draw away at Atalanta in the Champions League on Thursday. Mikel Merino remains on the sidelines recovering from a fractured shoulder while Takehiro Tomiyasu is ruled out with an ongoing knee issue. Alexander Zinchenko is also on the treatment table with a calf problem while Kieran Tierney is out with a thigh injury. 
Well, this should be more of a cheering news to Arsenal fans, as Declan Rice will be available for the trip to Manchester, having served a one-match suspension for his red card against Brighton. Well, as for Manchester City, they need to assess the fitness of Kevin De Bruyne after he was forced off against Inter with a groin problem. Although it's not thought to be serious, but Guardiola won't want to take any risk with his star man, while Nathan Ike is set to miss out with a tie injury that he picked up while away on international duty. So on the possible lineup, Arsenal could make some changes and freshen things up following the draw with Atalanta. David Rana should keep his place after another heroic performance on Thursday, while Ben White, William Saliba, and Gabriel Magalhães will keep their places in defence. On the left back, Julian Timber has been impressing in recent weeks, and he should get the nod once again with Calafiori on the bench. Thomas Partey, who has struggled to showcase his best form consistently this season, should partner Jorginho in midfield while Declan Rice will start after making his return from suspension in midweek. Kai Havertz, who played in a deeper role against Atlanta, could move back up front against City. Well, Gabriel Jesus failed to take his chance to shine in the Champions League as he struggled to influence the game, so the Brazilian may find himself back on the bench this week. Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli could keep their places out with Raheem Sterling and Leandro Trossard options from the bench. Well, of course, come the end of the season, this game may be remembered as an early six-pointer between two sides chasing the Premier League title. Please tell me your possible scoreline in the comment section and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you after the game.